So this brings us to a little summary of what we've been doing today. I'm just trying to put it all on one slide. We always talked about the definition, and then we also talked about how we can try to kindle, for how we can try to bring up this quality in our heart. Um, all just kind of suggestions to uh, have you work with, and you will have it um, all put together on the slide. There is also one chant I really enjoy doing. Um, it's the chant on universal well-being. Also, um, in Amarwati Monastery, they have translated that from Pali into um, English, and they recited it a lot when I was there. And it's actually a summary of the Brahma Viharas. You might have heard it before, but you might have not realized that it actually talks about those four highest um, and the four highest attitudes. May I abide in well-being, in freedom from affliction, in freedom from hostility, in freedom from ill will, in freedom from anxiety, and may I maintain well-being in myself, so towards ourselves. And the same is repeated, or almost the same, is repeated for the people outside. May everyone abide in well-being, in freedom from hostility, in freedom from ill will, in freedom from anxiety, and may they maintain well-being in themselves. Oops. May all beings be released from all suffering, and may they not be parted from the good fortune they have attained. So probably, we were able to assign it to the right one here. Kindness, compassion, sympathetic, sympathetic joy. Three other words for the first three. So the first two are talking about metta, the wish of goodwill towards ourselves and towards other people. Then seeing the suffering and wishing that beings may be released from that suffering is karuna's care. And then may they maintain and not be parted from the good things they have. So that's rejoicing in those beautiful qualities. And then we have the last one, equanimity. Probably you have heard about this before. When they act upon intention, all beings are the owners of their actions and inherit its results. Their future is born from such action, compassion to such action, a companion, sorry, companion to such action, and its results will be their own. All actions with intention, be they skillful or harmful, of such acts they will be the heirs. So here very important is the intention in Buddhism. We always talk about karma being the actions with an intention. The intention is what counts. And that's what allows us to uh, reflect in a skillful way about things that happen in the world, that happen to us, or that you know, we even do, say, or think. So that's um, a few more words about the last Brahmavihara, and the summary of all the uh, four. I'm aware there was quite a lot of information, <laughs> but I hope some of it um, has gone in and will be useful for you in your day-to-day -day life when you happen to be in a situation that is a bit difficult. Um, is there anything that comes to mind about the children that we should be sharing at this stage? Or is that all good? Because we're getting quite close to 3.30, where we will be having a tea break downstairs for um, everyone who wants to have a, a quiet break. And then we have a bit more time for personal practice until, what was it, 4.15, I think, before we have another Q&A session here. So feel free to also write down your questions and put them in the box so we have one more opportunity. Yeah, so be, be quite patient, eh? because to calm our mind and calm our thoughts, it does take some time. Uh, I was, one time I was wondering how, to, how much do we think? Eh? So I Google on, on Google, and they say it's about maybe 
about it's quite high in the numbers uh, something like 80,000 to 50,000 thoughts a day so that's a lot of thinking and um, so in um, uh, yeah in an hour maybe up to four five thousand thoughts uh, in one minute yeah maybe up to um, 200 thoughts a minute so our mind is very active so we cannot force the mind to become calm or peaceful we have to allow it to slowly slowly become calm so uh, I like to keep a simile yeah? so our thinking mind is our right hand we've been conditioned since we are born to think to plan and to do things yeah? so it's like this is the doing hand or the thinking hand it's always busy doing things all the time but it's also our writing hand but if we want the condition to write with our, with our left hand it's hard it does take time so our writing hand is the mind the, the mind that is calm peaceful and fully aware that's, that's not think too much that's mindful you know every moment seeing things as they are so to condition our hand from writing to writing our left hand is it's not it's quite hard so give yourself a lot of time and patience just allow the mind to slowly calm down normally on the longer retreat you slowly build up the momentum and you'll notice the room become more calm and more peaceful I mean for anyone that have been on a 19 retreat the Jana Grove Retreat Center in Perth next to uh, Odian Monastery yeah? you always notice in the beginning it's like you can feel the, the energy yeah? it's a bit restless and um, yeah quite busy but halfway through the retreat it's more peaceful and almost the end of the retreat yeah? like second last day yeah? then you notice when you go into the Dharma Hall the whole place is very peaceful and everyone is very peaceful so it does take time yeah? For the mind to become calm and peaceful. So you just have to have a lot of patience. Thank you. Okay, great. So about 10 minutes, I think. You should be ready downstairs. But feel free to do sitting or walking in that break as well until 4 4.15. We'll ask QA and then we'll do a guided and loving kindness meditation together. It's always a really, really nice way of ending a retreat day because we can take whatever peace and whatever calm we have developed to spread metta to the people that need it, to ourselves, but also to other people out there. It's also a way of sharing merit. I know you often ask here, can we share merits at the end of the session? And uh, we would be sharing merits in that meta meditation during that meta meditation before we finish off. Okay. See you soon. Uh -huh.